friends hi hello how are you welcome or welcome back to the curvy e chronicles today we are cooking our two weeks worth of meal plan we didn't cook them all but we cooked most of them let's go caution watching the following content may cause extreme hunger viewer discretion is advised other symptoms may include stomach growling, hunger outbursts, mouth watering, increased salivation, impulse grocery shopping, increased desire to cook, increased to want to come to my house. That will not happen. Increased to hitting that subscribe button, increased to hitting that like button, and increased to leaving a comment. Please do all of the above. All right, now that I got the content warnings out of the way, because I always forget to do that, we tried to do these mac and cheese waffles. And I'm going to tell you guys, this was an epic fail. So I just did box mac and cheese according to the direct instructions. Um, I do have this mac and cheese I need to use up before it goes bad. So just made two boxes of it, sprayed my little waffle iron, put it in there, cooked it for the five minutes that the recipe said. And I'm going to tell you guys, it was a total flop. I ended up just giving the kids the regular mac and cheese. I tried to eat the waffles. They did not turn out well. This was a do not recommend, but here's a good fail for you. And yes, I ate ketchup on my mac and cheese. Next up, we did our chicken salad. So I took my rotisserie chicken, some celery, about two stalks of celery just diced up, this burnt end dip from uh, Walmart, and just mixed it all together. So good. Um, the burnt end dip is sweet, so I did pair it with some dill pickles. It was great for dinner. Um, the kids were not a fan because the dip is a little spicy, but I ate on it for lunch the rest of the time. The next night, we did our chicken zucchini casserole. This one is to die for. Super easy and super healthy, I think. It's good. I like it. So three medium zucchinis quartered up. I mean, you could do them smaller, but I like them in quarters. Spray your pan. We're going to take half a stick of melted butter, some breadcrumbs. It does call for stovetop. I don't use stovetop. Italian seasoning, garlic salt, as always. We're going to take half of that breadcrumb mixture, and we are going to put it with our zucchini along with half a cup of sour cream. Um, I did add a can of chicken as well as the remainder of our rotisserie chicken from the night before. And then we are going to put in a can of cream of chicken soup. We are going to stir this all together and then we are going to put it in a what should be 9 by 13 pan. But I did a 9 by 9 trying to be cool and regretted my decision. However, I ended up just cooking it a little bit longer and it turned out fine. But the remaining breadcrumbs I added some Parmesan cheese to. We popped those right on the top to give it a nice crunchy crust crust. Put this in the oven at 375 for about 45 minutes or so. I'll leave the, ring, uh, the recipe linked in the description. This one's super good. We absolutely love this. Our next recipe is our Zuppa Descana copycat recipe. Um, I've done this before, so we just brown up some sausage in a pan. While that's browning up, we're going to cut up our onion. And if my cutting onions makes you nervous, trust me, it makes me nervous too. <laughs> I hate cutting onions. Um, and then we did four small red potatoes just diced up into bite-sized pieces. These cook down great in the soup. Um, and then, oh, I guess I did five. Oh, look at me lying. Um, while that's cooking, you could use fresh bacon, and the recipe actually calls for, like, fresh bacon. But I just use these pre-cooked bacon bits without the packet of <laughs> dehydrant, whatever that is. Onions, garlic, two tablespoons, eh, maybe a little bit more. We know we like garlic around here. Stir that in. Let that cook until the onions are translucent. Add in some chicken broth. I'm using my Better Than Bouillon chicken broth and then four cups of water. We're going to add in our potatoes. Make a mess all over the stove because um, it wouldn't be me cooking if I didn't make a mess. Some Italian seasoning. Just puff that in there. Some garlic salt to season those potatoes. Stir it up. Let it simmer for about 20 minutes um, and while that's simmering we are going to make my copycat breadsticks so the breadsticks butter garlic salt once it's all nice and cooked add in our kale and our heavy cream and let that simmer again for about five more minutes and voila it is ready we love this it is so good in the winter time too and really easy all right, this was a new recipe that I was really excited about. So this was just a simple oven baked tacos. Um, I added some bell peppers just to jazz it up a little bit. So I heated them up. Um, I did use canned chicken because we used the rest of the rotisserie, which was fine. Added some taco seasoning and um, some ranch seasoning because I found this in the back of my cabinet and thought, what the heck, why not? Um, I did just heat this up because I wanted to um, really season the canned chicken and then also make sure that everything was nice and warmed. Um, I had these white 
corn tortillas that I got at Winco. Um, the recipe says to heat them up in the microwave to make sure that they are pliable. Just put that in there and then I baked them at 350 for 12 minutes and they were bomb.com. Would be great for meal prep. And then our final recipe of the week was just jazzed up mac and cheese because that's what my kids wanted is mac and cheese. So I just cut up some broccoli really fine, boiled up two boxes of mac and cheese, and I blanched the broccoli. Um, and honestly, just follow the box instructions, you know, boil the pasta, butter. We used heavy whipping cream because I was at a half and half, cheese packets, and then added in some bacon and then uh yeah called it good because they have been on a mac and cheese kick and trying to find better ways to make mac and cheese a little bit more satisfying um so and then we all ate this and all loved it so i did add in an extra handful of cheese at the end just to make it a smidgen more cheesy but um that concludes our recipes uh we did not do the baked potatoes or the steaks this week because just life got in the way and it was not up for the options but i appreciate y'all hanging out with me if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and until next time spread kindness like glitter y'all mm -hmm.